one of the most colorful figures in world history, attends what is probably his last session of the big three conferences at Potsdam. Winston Churchill, head of Britain's Conservative Party, defeated in a landslide election by the Socialist Labour Group, is here with Major Clement Attlee, the man who succeeds him as Prime Minister, and President Truman. Results of the overwhelming vote for the opposition party in England are expected to have very little effect on the United Nations plans for world unity and the prosecution of the war against Japan. The new Prime Minister is well acquainted with the objectives of the Big Three. In England, Major Attlee campaigned strongly in the first general elections conducted in the last 10 years. The head of the Labour Party and his associates swept the wartime government from power, only Churchill and Eden retaining their seats in the House of Commons. Ernest Bevan, former Labour Minister, here pleading his cause with England's masses, is slated to succeed Eden. The widely popular Winnie will probably be knighted and will continue to lead the Conservative Party. These are Signal Corps and newsreel pictures. Twenty-five million voters turned out to give the Labour Party almost 400 seats in the House of Commons out of a possible 640. The greatest victory for Labour in England's history. The party's aims are nationalization of industry and finance. King George VI, following Churchill's resignation, turned over the reins of government to Attlee, here on the King's right. The new occupant of number 10 Downing Street has had a sound political career and now takes his place as a member of the Big Three with President Truman and Generalissimo Stalin to work for victory and peace.